up, Eat Skaters? It's Neil with Big Kids. And on this channel, we talk about DIY tips, vendors, and the electric skateboard community. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification button to see more videos like this. Um, as you can see, I've actually been really busy raising my family. And finding time to put together sweet escape videos has been like near to impossible. But it's been winter outside and cold, so I haven't been able to skate. And I was able to put a DIY board together and film it. Bill Kit Boards is a US DIY escape vendor that was nice enough to send me a single motor kit that they actually sell. And it's a pretty sweet kit because you don't have to um, program the VESC or do any soldering. So it's a really good kit for beginners that are trying to get into DIY. Check out the description below to see how you could win the Bill Kit Boards giveaway. You can get a Bill Kit Boards shirt, a VESC module, and 25% off of a kit if you buy it. Um, so anyways, thanks for sticking around to my channel, guys, and let's get into the video. So here's what comes with the kit. A 31-inch Tato deck, an enclosure with Samsung 30Q10S2P battery, power switch and charging port, 97 millimeter ABEC 11 style wheels with bearings, caliber two style trucks with four quarter inch riser pads, 6354 brushless motor, wheel and motor pulley, 15 millimeter belt and motor mount, VESC with hot sink, Flip Sky VX1 remote with USB-A cable for charging, a 36 volt charger, hexagon shaped grip tape, and all the tools and hardware you'll need for the build. Once we get this puppy together, you'll have a 14 mile range and a top speed of 28 miles per hour. So here's the deck that comes with the kit. For this first part, we'll need the risers, the tool kit, deck bolts, and the trucks. The deck roughly measures at 31 inches long by 10 inches wide, so you'll be in for a fun and agile ride. So this is the Tato deck. I think the name comes from the deck's shape being similar to a potato. The deck comes painted black on the roadside and red on the top side. It comes with convenient pre-drilled holes for hardware that'll keep the enclosure in place. The base plate and the kingpin came separate from the hanger, so I'll quickly show you how to put those together. First, unscrew the nut from the kingpin and remove the top washer and the bushing, and then leave the rest. Then insert the male part of the hanger into the pivot cup. While doing that, you'll also want to make sure the kingpin is going into the opening of the hanger. Give the hanger a nice push to make sure it's flush against the bushing. Put the top bushing and the washer back on and tighten the nut with a T-tool or the provided wrench. Ta-da! And here are your caliber style build kit board trucks. Now go ahead and grab the four quarter inch risers and the truck hardware. I like to insert the bolts from the top first so that the risers have something to hang on to. Use two risers per truck. Next, take the truck and line it up with the bolts with the holes in the base plate. Once you have each bolt through the holes of the base plate, add a nut to each bolt. Use the provided wrench and the hex key to tighten the bolts down all the way. You want to make sure there's no movement in the base plate when you move the hanger. Once you've done that for both sides, we can move on to the wheels and the drive assembly. If your bearings and wheels came unassembled, I'll show you a quick trick that I do using the axle of the truck. Take the bearing and face the closed side towards the inside of the truck. Then take the wheel and line it up with the bearing. Give it a nice push till you hear a pop. Your bearing should be flush with the wheel hub. For the other side of the wheel, take another bearing and face the closed side out. Then insert the spacer. Go grab your wheel again and push it into the bearing till you hear a pop. Then repeat this step for all of the wheels. 
What's nice about the kit is there's no nuts or bolts needed for the wheel pulley. Take the wheel pulley and line up the male pieces with the opening in the wheel hub. When you've done that, give the wheel pulley a push till it snaps into place. Inside the bag marked S motor, you'll find metric screws, motor keys, and heat shrink. With the metric screws, we're gonna fasten the motor to the motor mount. On the side of the motor the shaft is on, you'll find holes. Line up these holes with the corresponding slots on the motor mounts. Depending on which side of the truck your motor mount is on, you want the wires to face the bottom of the deck and then have them curve into the enclosure. Now that we know the positioning of the motor, let's take those metric screws and fasten them to the motor through the motor mount. Don't tighten the screws all the way because you'll want to be able to slide the motor so that you can adjust for belt tension. Now slide the motor mount onto the truck. Because these are caliper style trucks, you'll notice that the axle isn't a perfect circle. One side's flat. Make sure that matches up with the opening on the motor mount. As I mentioned earlier, I like having the phase wires face towards the board. This is so that the wires don't hang towards the road and are easier to connect. Next we're going to need the motor pulley, the motor key, and an allen wrench. Now take the motor key and place it in the keyway on the shaft of the motor. Use your allen wrench to push the motor key towards the outside of the shaft. This will create some resistance when you slip the motor pulley on. Once you've positioned the pulley where you want it, tighten the grub screws with the same allen wrench. Just be careful because these screws are easy to strip. Also, don't forget on the opposite side of the pulley is another grub screw you'll want to tighten. Once you're done, when you spin the motor, it should spin the pulley the same way. So here, I'm putting the motor mount on to dry fit everything and make sure I have the right belt tension. To get the belt on the motor pulley, I try to get as much of the belt onto the pulley that I can. Then I roll the wheel and the belt eventually falls into place. Make sure the motor mount, belt, and wheel are not rubbing against each other. Once you're satisfied with the spacing, tighten the motor pulley. Pull the motor away from the truck to add tension to the belt. The belt should have just a slight amount of give. You don't want the belt tension to be too tight or too loose. If you're okay with the tension, tighten the metric screws to keep the motor in place. This part could take a couple times of some trial and error, so be patient. Now it seems like you're done, but you'll want to take the wheel off again. All the screws and components in an electric skateboard suffer from a lot of vibration. The kit comes with Loctite, which I highly suggest you add to every screw that you can. Loctite acts like a glue and fills in the gaps between the screws and the threads, but there's no need to overdo how much you put because this stuff really works well. I add Loctite to everything just to be safe, even the grub screws and the motor pulley. Once you're done with the Loctite, put everything back the way we did before. Now that the belt has tension, you'll notice there's a little resistance when you spin the motor. If there's too much resistance, you might want to adjust your tension. When tightening the nuts for the wheels, don't tighten them to the point that there is resistance when you spin them. I usually will tighten the nuts as far as they go, then do one turn back to loosen it up just a bit. Now let's bust out the enclosure, battery, VESC, and mounting hardware. Jared over at Build Kit Boards has already marked the phase wires on the VESC with the corresponding wires on the motor. 
This eliminates a lot of the guessing work that comes with this step of a DIY board. Connect the phase wires by number. I do suggest not having the VESC plugged into the battery during this step. After connecting the phase wires, connect the VESC to the anti-spark on and off switch. The receiver for the remote comes wired into the VESC, so there's no need to plug in or solder anything. Both the VESC and the receiver have Velcro on them, so you can attach it directly to the enclosure. I almost forgot, don't forget, connect the sensor wire from the motor to the VESC. You can now turn the power on both your board and your remote to make sure they're paired. The remote and the VESC should come pre-configured, so you should be ready to go. To get the enclosure on, go grab the enclosure hardware Allen Wrench and Wrench provided. Line up the holes in the enclosure with the holes in the deck. It'll probably be easier to complete this step with the deck on its side. Before putting the nut on each screw, make sure to put the washer on first. After tightening one bolt on the enclosure, I'd flip the board over and tighten another bolt on the opposite end of the board. I'd repeat this step until everything was nice and snug. The kit comes with hexagon shaped grip tape and a spacing jig. I centered my first piece of grip tape by putting it against the jig and between the truck hardware. Then, you'll want to place the jig on one side of the grip tape already stuck on the board. This will give you an idea of where you'll want to put the next piece. The way you want to put the grip tape on is up to you. Personally, I kind of felt that the jig was a great idea, but I didn't like the wide space between each grip tape piece. So, I ended up eyeballing the rest. With the hexagon pieces that overlap the board, I intended to use a razor to trim off any excess.
what's up guys thanks for checking out the video um, I put that kit together in literally like a day so um, I think this is a really good kit for people that are brand new to the scene and really trying to get into DIY check out the description below because I've left a link to the single motor kit as well as the dual motor kit if you guys have any questions leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll uh, try to get to, uh, back to you guys as soon as I can anyways Thanks for checking out the video, and see you in the next one. Peace. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Cheeky, 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 cheek. Tamana.